The HB 35's calculator is a 35th anniversary tribute to the original HB 35 calculator. The HB 35 was the first hand held scientific calculator and a revolutionary device in its time. The HB 35's is much more than a simple retro look back at the past triumphs of Hewlett Packard. It's a design for the working professional, a market that has been practically forgotten by calculator manufacturers in the face of the rise of the microcomputer and the growth of the educational market for high end calculators at ever lower grade levels. Before I go into all that, let's look at the HB 35's and what's in the package. What's in the box and what's not? I've seen the HB 35s in two different retail packages. Both are vacuum form bubble packs, one larger, one smaller. Both include the calculator itself, a quick start guide, a manual on CD, and a case for the calculator. The case seems to differ between the two packages, with the larger one containing a rather solid hard case, and the smaller package appears to contain a soft-sided case. What is not in the package is the full printed manual. This is an important part of any calculator as capable and complex as the HB35. It has a manual in PDF format on the CD, but a printed manual makes learning the features of the calculator much easier. Fortunately, all it takes to get a printed manual is calling and asking for it, hidden in the back of the quick start guide. Under additional resources is the statement that if you simply call HB and ask for a printed manual, they'll send you one. They are true to their word, I called and received a manual free of any charges, delivered by UPS only two days after I requested it. I had started working my way through the calculator's features with the PDF file on my laptop. Once I got the printed manual, I was able to move through it about three times as fast. Inevitable Comparisons It's obvious that the new HP 35 begs comparison with the original HP 35. A comparison to recent scientific calculators from HP and other manufacturers is also logical. For many HP calculator users, it is also logical to compare it to HP other classics, such as the HP 65, HP 67, HP 41C, and HP 42. I have been a user of the HP 41C series on practically a daily basis since 1983, so this is what leads to mine first for me. Likewise, over the past several years, I have been looking for a calculator to replace or supplement my HB41 calculators. I have used calculators from HB, Texas Instruments, Casio, and Sharpen my quest for my next calculator. What it is and what it isn't. The HB35 is a dramatic update to the original HB35. The original HB35 had a feature set comparable to a very basic scientific calculator today. While some early calculators called themselves a scientific model with nothing more than the basic four functions and a square root key, the HB35 had far more. It had trigonometric functions, inverse trig functions, arc sine, cosine, etc. It could raise a number to an arbitrary power, change sine, invert, and do logs, natural logs, and antilogarithms. Plus, it had a memory to store intermediate or constant values. True to its name, it had 35 keys and a power switch. Most of the keys had a single function, with some having two functions. Trig and logarithm keys, for example, it used HP famous reverse Polish notation RPN, giving it the equivalent of four additional memories in its stack compared to a standard algebraic calculator, and a simplicity of operation comparable to an arithmetic calculator. It had standard and scientific display modes. The result is that there has been criticism of the HB 35s for its lack of these features. Realistically, though, this is an HB 35 analog we're looking at, and a hugely expanded HB 35 at that. A comparison to an HB 41 or HB 42 is extremely unfair, and in spite of its expanded memory, programming, and calculation features, it's also unfair to compare it to the 60 series with their built-in card readers. A more apt comparison would be the recent HB30 and HB33 models. The HB30 was a basic scientific with a two-line display, algebraic entry, and no programmability. I got one of these as a free add-on to the purchase of an HB printer. It was worth almost as much as I paid for it. I still have it, and it was my constant inspiration to seek a better calculator. Every time I used it, 
The HP 35s is what it is. My own impression of the HP 35s is that it's great. I'm really happy with it. I'm a working engineer. I do mechanical, electrical, and electronic design. I also do performance, reliability, and safety analysis as part of my design work. This calculator does what I need. The addition of complex and vector data type simplifies things for me considerably. On my HP 41 CV and CX, I use programs to be able to deal with such values. The HP 35 supports them directly. I'll admit that not all the functions I would like to have built in for dealing with these values are built in on the HP 35s, but that is solved with short programs using the built-in data types, far simpler than comparable programs on the HP 41. Physical Design The return of some of the design principles of the earlier HP calculators is a very welcome thing. The keys are clearly marked. They feel good. You can tell what's going on when you press them. I was concerned that the HP 35s might feel cluttered, as it has even more keys on it than the HP 41 series. But in use, this has turned out not to be the case. Overview The HP 35's design is a welcome change from the candy shop and science toy calculators the market has been producing for the past decade and more. Both inside and outside, it's a solid tool. It does not have all the functions of a high-end calculator, but given its price and positioning in HP line, these are not to be expected. It's an excellent value for the price. I paid a retail price at a brick and mortar store. It can be gone cheaper from online merchants. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.